In 1883, the Imperial Japanese Navy made the harbors of Sasebo a new base of operations. Since then, it has gone through plenty of changes, but one thing has stayed consistent over the years, a row of red brick buildings near the front gate that stand out from the rest of the base's modern appearance. Members of fleet activity Sasebo and local Japanese officials came together to celebrate the repurposing of the oldest of those buildings with a commissioning ceremony. The building, nearly as old as the first telephone, will now house the new base telecommunications center. The building behind us is built in 1888. It was one of the first buildings built in Sasebo, um, and this building has a unique, rich history. This building was used by both the Japanese Imperial Navy and the U.S. Navy throughout history. So we repurposed this facility to accommodate the future growth of Sasebo. Our existing facility was unable to support the next five to ten years. With such an impressive history, it would have been nearly impossible to tear down Building 311, so sailors and contractors worked diligently over four years to construct a second building hidden beneath the veneer of the iconic red bricks. The building's actually two buildings. The outer structure of the building is red brick, uh, which is original uh, from the 1880s. The internal building is actually a steel structure building. If you look at the building, you can actually see some of the studs and some of the architectural improvements that are actually helping to hold up the older structure, uh, that red brick that is standing outside. This shows our host nation that we do care about their facilities. We do care about preserving their facilities. Uh, and it also helps us strengthen and enhance our relationship with the Japanese Historical Society. With more than 100 years of standing tall, Building 311 has been set to stand for another 100 years to come. Seaman James Hunt, Fleet Activities, Sasebo, Japan.